What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today with a very exciting Samsung video for you guys and today we're going to be talking about the secure folder on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. Specifically a couple tips and tricks for using the secure folder which allows you to lock some of your apps, photos, etc. in a secure folder where no one else can access it that you may not be aware of. There's a cool couple of cool things that can make this even more secure, take it to the next level. You can actually rename the app itself, you can actually change the icon which makes it harder for people to kind of find it if they're kind of interested, wondering why you have a secure folder or what's in it, etc. You can remove some of that temptation. Before we get started, I do want to thank my four-year-old son, Jonathan, for giving us some cool stuff to hang out in today's video. You guys can see right here if I can get him into focus. We've got the Apotosaurus pen. This is actually a ballpoint pen. We got this at the museum. I want to show you guys that. And we also have the lizard here. Let me see if I can get him in focus as well. Looking very, very colorful here. And uh, also, if you guys are new to the channel, or even if you're a returning viewer, check out our website, sammyguru.com. We're covering the latest tips, tricks, Samsung news, etc., in written form, just like we do here in video form on the YouTube channel. Uh, lots of great stuff over there. Some stuff that I don't cover here. Some stuff I've expanded on that I have covered on the channel. I think you'll really enjoy it. You can also get in our mystery box program if you're in the U.S. Get a free case cleaning kit, desktop phone stand. Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6 are going on right now. So make sure you check out in the pinned comment description if you are interested in that. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the secure folder. So secure folder, which is right here on my device. Of course, I'm using a custom icon pack. People always ask about which icon pack I'm using. This is Aries Black. If you go ahead and tap on your secure folder, it's going to ask for your pattern or of course, your fingerprint, your biometric uh, method to get in there. Go ahead and put in your pattern. And uh, you'll notice there that it didn't actually show my pattern when I was doing it. I'll show you guys how to edit that option as well. You see all the things you've got, camera, internet, context, my files, gallery, calendar, and notes. You can add other applications up here to secure folder. And it'll basically make a separate version of that app that will go inside the secure folder where you can keep it private. You've also got a search. And then over here, you got this three dot menu. There's a couple of really useful things you can do here. First, you can sort just like you can sort inside your app window. I always like to turn that into alphabetical order, just like I do in the app drawer, because I find the customized order that Samsung uses very unintuitive. I don't really know why they do it that way, but that is the default when you get it on the app drawer as well. You can encrypt here. If you encrypt that, that's going to give you even stronger security and protection for your secure folder. If you tap on that, it's going to tell you, helps keep your data safe from advanced cybersecurity attacks. When it's encrypted, all apps will stop working that are in the secure folder, so that's very important to be aware of. You won't receive notifications from those apps that you've locked behind the secure folder. The next time you open it, encryption will be activated and apps will start working normally. So be aware of this. This is only if you really need enterprise-grade security, if you're worried about some advanced attacks. Most people probably don't need that, but it's nice that the option is there if you do. You can add files here. You've got customize and settings. So let's take a look at these so you can see, because this is what I wanted to show you. This is one of the features I think a lot of people don't realize about their secure folder is that you can go ahead and in the secure folder, you can customize your app icon and you can also customize the name of the folder. So if you wanted to just, you know, give this a name, like for instance, um, I don't know, game favorites. I have no idea, just making up something. You can also change the color and then you can also change the icon down here. This star icon kind of looks very suspicious to me if someone had this on their phone. I'm not sure I'd believe that this was game favorites, but you can do that and if you apply that, now this is how it's gonna look inside your app drawer and on your home screen, which I'll show you guys in a second. Now also inside settings, there's a couple of other really useful things to be aware of. One of those is you can change your lock type, but in addition to that, when you do a pattern like I did, you can make your pattern invisible. So if you toggle this off, then you're not gonna be able to see that pattern when you're putting it in, because normally it leaves the trail. This might be useful if someone's watching, you enter your pattern for secure folder, you want it, you know, you're a little paranoid, you can turn that off. Auto lock secure folder when the screen turns off, this is always a good one, I think, highly recommend that, or each time I leave the app. Notifications, you can choose kind of how the notifications work here. I always hide content for secure folder notifications. Auto lock secure folder, like I said, and then add secure folder to the app screen. So you can actually remove this entirely or you can have it just, you know, renamed with a, you know, funny name like I did earlier. Down here, you can also choose your apps and which AI features you want to have allowed inside a secure folder. 
you have to go through the setup again. This is the same advanced intelligence AI features you went through when you set up your phone originally on One UI 6.1, but since it's inside the secure folder, like I said, it's basically a separate copy of the application. Manage accounts, restore from backup, more settings on data usage, Samsung Pass, and autofill. If you want to have autofill inside secure folder, a lot of settings that live inside the One UI settings menu are duplicated in secure folder because again, you're basically duplicating some of these apps. If you go into other security settings, you can choose your security certificates, user certificates, install certificates from phone storage, show contact info. So you can choose if you want to let apps outside secure folder access information about contacts. I think most people would not. Allow clipboard, so if you want to be able to copy and paste, and automatic data encryption are automatically decrypted after your phone restarts. There's also an advanced setting where you can show the snooze button, app icon badges, turn those off, I usually do for secure folder, and manage app notification categories for each app. This is actually the advanced settings toggle that was turned off in One UI 6.1 proper that I talked about when the S24 Ultra first came off. This also is inside secure folder, but it is on by default, which is kind of weird. Anyway, I mainly wanted to show you guys this cool feature where you can choose to do this, but there's one really weird thing I want to point out. If you, this kind of sticks out like a sore thumb in my icon pack, so it looks very suspicious. But if you do put this icon here, it's going to be in the secure folder spot if you have alphabetical order. So you see it's still next to my Rivian app. And even if I go up here and go to custom order and then sort it again to alphabetical order, now you can see that it gets changed back over here to where I renamed it. So make sure if you're going to change the name of secure folder and want it to blend in, make sure you go back if you have alphabetical order on and sort it again so that it will go into the correct alphabetical order. Otherwise it looks suspicious because it's down there where the S's should be. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's another way to kind of take your security privacy to the next level with secure folder on your Galaxy phone. Like, comment, subscribe to the notification icon. Future videos like this, again, check out our website, sammyguru.com if you're interested. Check out the mystery box program if you're buying something from Unpacked in July. Appreciate you guys checking out this video. And of course, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.